Lady. Miss Lady. Do you believe in love at first sight? Or should I walk by again? No, no, truly, Miss Indigenous, I've been feeling your vibe since time immemorial, long before we were known as tribes or Native Americans or Indians or any of these other lies that we subscribe to that denies yours and my true legacy as the original Nitsitapi of this psycho. What I'm trying to say, Miss Lady, is this really isn't first sight. In fact, needs to, I've been scoping you since you first gave birth to this earth, this land, breastfed me with your flowing waters, shaped the mountains with your hands, the matriarch of this continent, earth, wind, and fire at your command, life span is eternal, hourglass turns sideways, no movement to your sand, beauty and class are internal, no movement to your sand, what I'm trying to say, Miss Lady, is Girl, you look good for your age. No movement to your sand, though I know your life hasn't been a beach. There had to be problems before the first Napiquan landed on your beach. But now I find myself calling you bitch. Acquired his profanity in my speech. Breached your confidence in my manhood. Leave my young ones for you to teach. And I know you're a bad woman, mom. There's just some things you can't teach. And... You shouldn't have to. I guess what I'm saying, Miss Lady, is I'm sorry. Because now when I see you with somebody who's not Nitsitapi, I feel a sense of shame. I provided you with every excuse, Miss Lady. I know I'm mostly to blame. Desecrated your royalty, yet you were loyal. I can't say the same. You waited in vain for my love. Of course it never came. Provided me with gentle reminders of your blind affection each and every time that it rained. Ignored for centuries. Needed a way to hide your frustration and your pain. I guess what I'm saying is that I understand. But, but I'm begging for understanding too, Miss Lady. I'm trying to be that Nina. That man that I should have been since long before time was called time. Before husband and wife, I was simply yours and you were simply mine. I did not have to try to be a man, rather just walked in the way that Obstadaki had designed that was so perfect. I did not have to try to be a man, rather just walked in the way that the creator had defined. I think I could do that again, Miss Lady. So I guess what I'm saying is, girl, do you like me?